just as summer is winding down, COVID cases and hospital cases are ticking up here in Wisconsin. UW-Madison released a report showing by the end of July, the percent of positive COVID-19 cases was 8.4%. Now back in July, on July 1st, that number was only 4.4%. The Department of Health Services tracked a 38% rise in hospital cases statewide during the last two weeks of July. Mary Jo Ola explains what doctors make of these changes. One, two, three. As summer flies by and students get ready to head back to school, COVID-19 cases are rising again. I think we do know how to handle it better now. Monica Amrin enjoys watching her three granddaughters. Their family isn't overly concerned about the recent uptick in cases. If we find we need to curtail activities or wear masks again, certainly we'll do that. But I don't know that we would kind of go as far back as we did in 2020, where we wouldn't be going out or, you know, doing that type of yeah. thing. The timing isn't unexpected. Doctors say throughout the pandemic, cases seem to rise in late summer and early fall. Dr. Jeff Potoff at UW Health says a new booster is good news. He encourages people to get it in September or October when they get their flu shot. Our immune systems get a little bit lazy and they uh, don't work as well against COVID. So having this uh, booster uh, is going to be helpful. It's actually against uh, the strain uh, that's pretty common out there right now. Since far fewer test results are being officially recorded, experts point to case positivity rates by following hospitalizations, wastewater surveillance and deaths. In Milwaukee County, that rate was less than 5% in June. By early August, it was over 10%. As we wait to see how COVID-19 hits this time, Monica keeps a face mask close by. I have gotten rid of some, but I always keep one in my purse because I just don't know when I might be in a situation where I'm around somebody who's compromised. Milwaukee County's chief health policy advisor says while the number of hospitalizations has grown, the recent trend is mild. Deaths are not increasing, suggesting greater immunity and less severe disease. Noah Watosa, Mary Joel, TMJ4 News. Mary Jo, thank you very much. A man and